Hello, this is a short tutorial for my English Lexicology and Lexicography class on how we can use Corpus of Contemporary American English, COCA, to explore frequency of words and how those uh, words are distributed across different corpus genre. So COCA is part of a larger English language corpora collection that is hosted in this uh, website, english-corpora.org, and as you see, there are many other kinds of English language corpora, collection of um, English language texts that is electronically stored in a database. <clears throat> and the first thing that you need to do is to register an account so that you can use uh, different kind of corpora from this English corpora collection. Uh, it is free, yeah. So you register an account and go to english-corpora.org click on Corpus of Contemporary American English COCA and uh, you will be directed to this page and you need to log in through this uh, box on the top right corner. Yeah, it will be yellow if you haven't logged in but I have logged in uh, so it is uh, red right now. So <clears throat> yeah, so I can just uh, click on that and log out and demonstrate again the login for you. login yeah after you log in go to the search tab here and you can start using coca and you see in this uh, interface you have the place where you do your searches and other feature of coca uh, that you can explore and on the right hand side we have a help box or overview box that uh, you can use to look at further details what coca is and how many um, words does coca contain and so on and so forth and also it explains about how you can search coca for the use of words or uh, phrases or grammatical constructions <clears throat> what is interesting that uh, from this new version of coca is that it is mobile friendly um, if you open coca using your mobile phone so uh, the image on the left will be the first that you will see on your phone and if you want to uh, show the or open up the help page you click on this help green button and this window on the right hand side will show up in your phone okay but i suggest you use coca with your computer okay now um, for our practical purpose in class um, we will explore the list feature of coca as well as the chart feature so the list feature allows you to uh, generate frequency of a word or a group of words or any kinds of phrases that occur in coca yeah we can try and compare overall frequency of words um, and then inspect that for further details in in the chart uh, feature in the chart function uh, we can get a graphical representation of the frequency or the relative frequency, yeah, the proportion, relativized frequency of those words across different uh, coca corpus genre because coca contain or it has uh, different text types. Uh, there are eight genres in coca, spoken, fiction, popular magazine, newspaper, academic text, and so on. So you can read further information from this right hand side box. Okay. In order to do or to use the list feature, you click on the list feature, okay, list function, and another uh, box will appear here to help you with how you can use list um, to do your search. And you can just type in the word that you want to search for its frequency in this uh, box. Let's find the frequency of happy, okay, and you just need to click find matching strings and coca will give you the frequency of uh, happy in the whole coca corpus yeah? so this frequency is not yet broken down in in terms of genre now um how if you want to do uh, searches for multiple words at once <clears throat> so you can separate the words using pipe this one this symbol pipe so let's find happy joy awesome and fantastic okay and just click find matching strings 
it will give you the frequency of these um, uh, words yeah uh, so we can see that different words have uh, different frequency it's like happy is the most frequent com in comparison to the other three words and fantastic is the least frequent okay so that's um, single search multiple search and now we will look at um, how we can search for different form of words uh, that is based that are based on the same form like we find different realizations of words based on the same root um, let's say we want to find a different form of the word that is based on thing or let's say write <clears throat> in order to do that you need to write uh, or input uh, the word in capital letters so it means you ask Coca to find different word forms that is based on the root right okay um, click find matching string okay um, yeah so this is an ad that uh, invite you to upgrade to a premium account um, I haven't but uh, you can uh, just go with the free account and you just need to wait until um, this ad uh, uh, show the this uh, message so after you see this message uh, you can just click here to continue and you can go with your search okay so we have different uh, word forms based on the lemma or the lexeme right and we see that different word forms have different frequency yeah so the third person singular writes is the least frequent compared to the past tense form wrote and read here is a noun that refers to a legal document in the court so um, potentially it is also uh, related to right um, yeah so that's it so finding different word forms based on the same root you can use the capital letters okay so input the words in capital letter okay um, I will not write uh, or talk about the pause uh, feature because uh, that's not relevant for now but we will see that later on now we'll move on to the chart feature chart feature as I've said before allows you to compare frequency of a word across different uh, uh, corpus genre okay let's see how is the frequency of happy across the eight coca genre um, click C frequency by section okay um, there they are um, frequencies of happy uh, across different genre of coca so on the top you see the section or the genre of the uh, coca corpus and happy occur most frequent frequently in tv or movie subtitles text but least frequently in the academic text okay um, so people not uh, do not talk uh, much about happy in academic uh, prose um, yeah um, and if you see here uh, the first row frag it indicates the row the, the the original the observed frequencies of happy across this corpus genres and you see per mil row here it indicates that uh, the normalized frequency of happy uh, um, because we compare frequency of certain items in different texts and these different texts do not have the same size they don't consist of the same number of words so in order for the comparison to be comparable we create a normalized frequency using the baseline either 1 million words or 100,000 words yeah so per mil indicates frequency on the basis of 1 million words okay um, yeah so now that's happy we can try one more time with different word um, let's say study um, how would you think study distributed is distributed across this corpus genre um, hit the C frequency by section voila so um, study is most frequently uh, occurring in the academic text okay way much more frequent compared to the other genre okay so very little in the TV and uh, fiction and so on 
So what uh, we have seen so far by using these two examples um, is that a word may be used in different contexts. They may be used much more frequently in certain text types comparison to the uh, other uh, text types or other genres of language use. And uh, our intuition may not be useful for guessing how would a word will be used in different text types, in different language use. And with the availability of COCA, with large coverage of language use, we can use um, its database to find that information out, okay? All right, um, I think that's it uh, for this short tutorial, and I hope you can follow along. So please email me if you have any question, and I will put further information on WASA soon. Bye-bye.